interpreting the mission statement. Our mission. Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting bereaved parents to become shining light parents by providing support and resources to aid in the healing process. We go a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and evidence for the afterlife in a non-dogmatic way. Affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background, and allow for open dialogue. Attendance today at this meeting is voluntary, and we are here for the benefit of learning from and sharing with other parents whose child has passed away. It is understood that our discussions are intended to be confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers to allow parents to be informed about many possible ways to heal, to connect with their children, and to learn about the afterlife. The views expressed by our guests do not necessarily reflect those of Helping Parents Heal, and we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much, Irene. And I just want to tell everyone, thank you for being here. And um, I am so excited about this evening because Stacy is going to be leading a guided meditation. Uh, Stacy Lynn Cripps is a well-known and highly respected spiritual medium, mentor, and advisor of the gift of spirit. Stacy recently completed a divinely guided meditation album, Guided Meditations to Awaken Spirit, utilizing the meditations that she does daily to feel her spirit within and to develop a stronger spiritual connection with the gift of spirit. She taught these meditations for years to people who are grieving and seeking a spiritual connection with departed loved ones and those looking for help with anxiety. She discovered that journeying within meditation and with visualization, guided imagery and light deepens the meditative experience and enhances the spiritual connection. These guided meditations have been tried and proven over the years to open the heart, which is the spiritual center to awaken to spirit, uh, to spirit within, to feel love and experience healing in the heart. And today they are giving the peace and serenity so desperately needed, as we know. Um, she has created an album and the album coincides with her online program starting in November, the Gift of Spirit Mentoring Program, where she shares how to tune into your rare, magnificent, magnificent spirit and develop a deeper spiritual connection. Stacy believes that we are all endowed with spiritual gifts and she is here to be a personal guide and spiritual teacher. She has a rare God-given gift which allows heart-to-heart -heart spirit com communication with departed loved ones. These evidential healing messages from blessed loved ones in, uh, in heaven instill peace, love, and joy. Stacy's work with grieving families, St. Jude and others, continues to shine a light on how our loved ones are never far away and are still loving and guiding us here on many levels through spirit, spiritual signs, synchronicities, and much more. You can learn more about Stacy at www.touching1mhearts.com. You can also follow her on Touching One Million Hearts Community on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash touch one m hearts uh, and then slash one more time i will be posting that on the uh, chat so that you guys can see that but without further ado i'd like for all of you to welcome stacy lynn thank you elizabeth thank you thank so you. much uh, i'm so happy to be with all of you i see some familiar faces here um, that I've known and I've worked with throughout the years. So hi to everybody. Um, I'm just happy to be with you. Uh, this album that is coming out, Awaken to Spirit, uh, is a compilation of meditations that have I have used with uh, so many parents through the years that I've worked with. 
um, that have helped them open up spiritually to feel a stronger connection with their children and spirit. And these meditations, there's only six on the album, but what I will say is they, like she said, I mean, Elizabeth said, um, they have been proven to uh, really connect you spiritually. And meditation is very much the spiritual tool to open you up uh, within your spirit, because when you're down in your spirit, when you're in your spirit, in your heart center, you're, you're already there. So you are in the spiritual oneness to feel, see, and hear um, spirit with you, whatever inner senses that they work with. Um, I always refer back to um, songs that I've heard and lyrics that I've heard. And there's a song called Annie's Song. And it's that it speaks about you fill up my senses. And that's what spirit does. They very much will connect with you within when you're in that place of um, love. So I talk very much about love. I talk very, very much about the heart being the spiritual center. And when we can open up the heart space, um, within meditation, uh, we're in a place of opening, we're in a place of connecting as well. So I very much look forward to playing this for you tonight. I'm going to be playing um, the Meditation Divine Angel um, off the new album that's coming out within the next month or so. And um, this meditation is a meditation of connecting with your guardian angel and with your loved one in spirit and with God. So it's a compilation of a number of spiritual connections within meditation. I'm going to be meditating with you, opening up the space of the divine white light um, to have a, a beautiful experience with spirit. And I wanted you to meditate with the version that's been mastered because the music um, is just beautiful. So should we should we start with that, Elizabeth? I think that would be wonderful. Unless you'd like to maybe tell us a little bit about your spiritual journey beforehand. Okay. Maybe you could just um, tell people how you got into this so that they understand and then move into the meditation after. That would be wonderful. Okay, as well. okay beautiful. So um, I'll start when I was younger. I was very intuitive. I had... Um, a bit of a very strong intuition and inner knowingness. And sometimes I spoke and I spoke in a way that was beyond my years. My parents used to tell me that. Um, when I was born, I wasn't supposed to live, but a mere a few hours. Um, I was told or my parents were told that when I was born that my organs were not functioning and I was eight weeks premature and I wouldn't live. And um, they were preparing them with the social workers. And I did live, but I feel like I had a near-death experience when I was very, very young, when I was born. Um, and I was called special my entire life for whatever reason, because I did live. Uh, but what I will say is that I really didn't open up to spirit until 1995, when I experienced grief for the very first time. I knew I had a gift of knowing on some level, but I really didn't see, feel, or hear spirit. Uh, until then. And it was when my best childhood friend um, was killed on her way home from college in her car and she was hit head on. Um, and we had grown up since we were four and eight years old. And I just spoke with her. And so when I got the call, I went into um, a very, I'll say, numb state. And uh, and I went to that level of trauma where I couldn't really accept what was going on. Throughout the weeks and after the service, um, I, I prayed at night one night and I said, God, I can't bear this anymore. I can't bear this grief. I need help. And I remember that prayer very well. And that night when I fell asleep, Heather, uh, my friend came to me in my dream state and she began, and she began uh, appearing in my dreams um, very, very frequently, giving me evidence under this strong oak tree back here, uh, letting me know what happened to her, uh, giving me facts that she wasn't alone when she passed, that there was a woman with her who pulled her car over and was with her in the car holding her before she passed. 
Um, she came to me, I felt love. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I could feel her essence. I could feel her love. It was so real to me. Uh, and then one day I was walking into a grocery store and my ear was ringing and I just pushed my finger here and I could hear her voice. Like she was standing right here. And she said, call my mom tonight. Let her know I've been coming to you. Tell her what I've been telling you. And so I called her mom that night because it was such a powerful spiritual connection uh, that that happened. I mean, I'd been feeling Heather so much, but when I could hear her voice, it was very, very powerful. I called her mom and I told her that Heather's been coming to me for a year and uh, sharing her love, sharing what's happening with her in heaven. And she wants me to tell you that um, when she passed, there was a woman who was holding her in the car and she wants you to know that she didn't pass alone. And her mother said, I didn't believe them. And I said, who? She said, the EMTs on the scene told me that a woman was there and pulled her car over and got in the car with Heather and was holding her before she passed. And I didn't believe them. This whole time I thought that Heather passed by herself. And so it was very healing for her. I, I also told her that Heather was with angels when she appeared with me. And she said that Heather collected angels the year before she passed and she had a collection of angels. So that was my first spiritual reading that I gave back in 1995, but I didn't understand what it was. I mean, honestly, I just felt that this love that I had with Heather was what was sustaining our spiritual connection. And after Heather, after I gave that message, I didn't hear from Heather again for a little while until I had my spiritual awakening in 2011. Now, every time someone passed, a loved one passed, they would come to me in my dreams. So my dream state, I was very open spiritually to receive from all my loved ones that, that had gone to heaven. And um, so it's very normal for, normal for me to experience spirit within my dreams. And it wasn't until 2011 when I meditated for the first time to Amazing Grace at a conference and that song opened me up spiritually to see, feel, and hear spirit within meditation. And upon meditating, uh, when I opened my eyes after the meditation, I could see my grandmother, my grandfather, and my uncle who had passed up on the stage. And I could see them for an instance. Um, they had clothes on, they were like a hologram, but I could feel them. And they said, we're still with you. We're still loving you and guiding you still. And that was a very strong spiritual experience for me because I could feel everything that they were saying within my heart and I could see them. And it was very powerful. From that moment forward, back in 19, back in 2011, I was open spiritually. I could see, feel, and hear spirit within my wakeful state. And at that time, I started meditating daily and building that more, that spiritual connection and deepening that. And I started giving spiritual readings to um, family and to friends that were um, very evidence-based, but also filled with love. That's um, how things started for me. And in the last, I'll say nine years, I'm going on my 10th year now as a spiritual medium. Uh, and I've worked with uh, St. Jude. I work with um, Chicago survivors here in Chicago. Um, I worked with so many family, families nationally. I work with parents who um, have have experienced um, murder with their children. Um, I work with a lot of those families. Uh, the children helped me, I mean, accept this fully. My first um, spiritual readings were with uh, a child from St. Jude, and then another child from St. Jude, and they came through, uh, and I didn't know these families, and they came through so evidence-based, so specific, giving names of who they were with on the other side and uh, memories and just some just amazing, amazing evidence. And the, and the children taught about the signs too. I learned so much from the children in spirit. They very much um, were, were my teachers for the first couple of years because they came through so strong and they brought so much evidence. And then they also, would bring the signs and I'll, I always talk about Sophie, but I'm gonna talk about Shannon tonight um, because she came to me in meditation before I got on tonight. And um, Shannon 
I was a 13 year old who passed from cancer and I worked with her family and brought her through. And what she, what she taught was that she could bring gifts to her family. So Shannon loved these lime green frogs and lime green was her favorite color. And um, I had worked with her family and I let them know to ask Shannon for signs and just be in wonder and show up in a place of observation daily and allow these signs to come to you from her. And one day her mom and her sister were out on the porch, this is in Ohio and it was in winter. And this fluorescent lime green frog that you probably would only see in Florida hopped up on the porch in the snow and they were talking about Shannon. And so they will bring these gifts um, in these amazing ways to let you know, I'm with you. I hear you, you're talking about me. I had this one, one young, young girl bring her mom this golden L'Oreal wand that she did her hair with in her bird feeder right outside after she asked for a sign. The same gold wand in the bird feeder, L'Oreal wand. Um, I had a son bring one time, he used to always call his mom number one mom. And on the day of his passing, I met with the family um, right before the memorial service and met with the mom and I prayed with her. And I said, you can ask him for a sign that next day. Um, she found a golden hearted number one mom a keychain right outside. So they can bring you these beautiful, amazing gifts. And they're so powerful. Now I have chills all over my head. So when I get chills and tingling, spirit is so near me. And, um, and they want me to really let you know tonight about this, this spiritual place of how they can bring you more than one sign within a couple moments. And it's amazing to experience. I'll go back to Shannon. Um, her make a wish was to go to Hoboken, New Jersey and meet the chef who makes cakes. And uh, she passed before her Make-A-Wish. And so her family went from Ohio to this place in, uh, I think it's called Hoboken. And this was a cake chef. And the cab, ride, the cab guy was um, kind of circling and circling and wouldn't park. And he didn't park in front of the bakery or this baker's place. He parked like kitty corner. And as they got out of that cab, they looked up and all in lime green was Shannon's place, right across the street from the bakery. So they can, now I have chills all over because I feel Shannon. So they can put you in the spiritual vortex of experiencing them in the most miraculous ways with the synchronicity, which, is, which means that, they're, that they are bringing two or three signs right in those moments to really experience them and it's for you it's for you to open up more spiritually to uh, it does open you up more spiritually when you experience something like this to feel them and to know that they're there with you and you can even communicate with them at that time because you're very open when you're experiencing a sign and go into your heart space and maybe get a full message from them and this is something that I teach in the mentoring program too how to experience this spiritual vortex of your loved ones in spirit and to know how possible that this is. I met with a mother once for lunch right after my meditation workshop. And I always talk about Sophie because she was the one who had me step fully into this gift and do this work. Um, but when we were at the meditation workshop, this little dog was there, one of the owner's dogs of this place that I was running out, was running around and sat on her feet and this mother asked, Sophie's mother said, what's the dog's name? And the owner said, Sophie. That was right before the meditation workshop. And then I met her for lunch and Sophie brought through her little um, hamster that had just passed and gave its name and everything said that she was with it on the other side. Um, and as I was driving home, right after I met with her mom, there were these girls on this, um, uh, on this corner. And I saw the street sign, but I didn't know what was going on. I saw this sign that they had. And this song came on the radio um, called um, Sophie McLaughlin by Sophie McLaughlin. So of course I felt Sophie and I looked over and there were all these girls that were nine and 10 years old selling St. Jude bracelets. So 
Sophie was from St. Jude and she was nine when she passed. So it was just that experience right there that they can set you up in so that you can very much experience them fully and that spiritual connection can deepen. Um, and that's one of the things I, um, I feel to share with you tonight, that there is this place, the spiritual vortex, and there are many ways that they can bring signs. Of course, their names on license plates and their names in songs and on billboards and things like that. But they can also bring you very unique things, very much, I'll say, um, things you wouldn't even think of, these gifts that can show up out of nowhere. I was about to give a reading to a woman once, and there was a knock on my door and someone left this business card, uh, a landscaper. And I came upstairs and it was the same last name as this woman that I was about to read for. And when I gave her that reading, her mother came through and talked about her son's wedding. And her son's name was the first name and last name on this, on this card. And I took a picture of it and I sent it to her. And these are the things that they can do. I know it is miraculous, it's miraculous. And I'm gonna write a book on this soon, but I will say that expect the miraculous. The gift of spirit is the gift of healing. It's the gift of miracles. It's the gift of the Holy Spirit, gift of the divine spirit, where anything is possible. And so when you're waiting for a sign, expect the impossible, expect the miracles to take place so you can open up more spiritually. So these are other ways that you can open up, not just through the meditation, but also understanding how spirit works. They want to connect with you. They want to open you up spiritually. They want to communicate with you. They want to love and guide you still, just like they did when they were here. There's um, so many stories that I have of dads and moms in spirit that are that are working so hard to help their children here. And they do things and the kids are like, this is just like my mom would do. Well, your mom is doing this with you. They're still with you. They're still loving you. They're still guiding you. They're still right by your side. They're, they're still helping you um, make things happen in your life. One of the things too that I feel that spirit will do for us, especially the children, is they will take you on a divine life path and a brand new purpose that you didn't expect. They will just open that door and say, mom, you're gonna be doing this now, okay? Pay attention, go through this door. So they will like nudge you and kind of push you into a brand new purpose, which is pretty amazing, pretty beautiful. Uh, there's mothers who are writing books now because of their children in, in spirit and um, some are doing a TV show. So it just, they help you too with that part of your life as well. So there's some amazing things that you can experience with your loved ones in spirit with your children. And let me tell you something about the children. I've been doing this almost 10 years now and the children are miraculous. They are the strongest that I've ever experienced in spirit where I could literally sometimes when i give spiritual readings i will move my body and the parents will say you're doing exactly what she does i mean they will come so close to experience them and you can experience this too because you are very connected with them that love doesn't die that love is a foundation to build upon and to be with them in in a spiritual way so i just i just wanted to share some stories of how spirit can connect with you, your loved ones in spirit and your children can connect with you and just surprise you. Expect to be surprised. Expect to experience miracles because this is what they can do and they do it so, so well. I believe that when the children um, go into the afterlife, into heaven, their vibration is so high. Their, their vibration is some of the highest because they've been here a short time. And so they can do, they're almost angelic in a way. <laughs> they can do amazing things for us. And so these are just some of the things I wanted to share with you. Um, they can also make you, bring you energy, make you feel them, make you feel that love and ask for more. Keep asking, ask them to lift you up every single day. And that's what they'll do because intentions, they feel these intentions in your heart. 
So keep holding intentions of asking in your heart space and that's how they can hear it. That's how they can, they feel what you feel and they hear things from within. That's beautiful. Can I just say a few comments that we have in the chat box? Everyone is is just so, they're loving everything that you're saying. Carla's saying, what a beautiful gift. Christine is saying, thinking the same thing. Stacy is wonderful, amazing. Uh, Suzanne Klokenga is saying, Stacy, you oh, gave me my first it. three readings years ago. I will never forget it. Gail Lynn is saying it's Buddy the Cake Boss and um, Oh, Cake Boss, that's right. It's the Cake Boss. Yeah. Yes, and so someone else said um, thank you, that was driving, Shannon was, that was driving me crazy to try, try to remember his name. So um, Carla is saying wow. Christine saying this is so hopeful. Um, Denise is saying beautiful. Maria Pike, who I want to uh, recognize because she's up in Chicago She's the person that got us together and she has a, an incredible organization of women. Uh, they are fighting gun violence. Um, she's just, she's amazing. She wrote 333, which I'm oh. sure has a uh, significant. Hi, <laughs> and then Carla is saying beautiful experience. Candy saying she is so positive and loving. I find this very uplifting. Oh. Iris is saying so very uplifting. Um, Christine is saying absolutely wonderful. Listening to Stacy, you can't help but believe. I agree. Mir miracle kids we have. And Anna, whose son Frankie's birthday is tonight. He's, tur he's oh. turned 26 tonight. But she has two, two boys in spirit who just passed very recently. Oh. She says, so needed. This is my son Frankie's birthday. And it is so wonderful to hear you. Um, and Maria is saying hi, Stacy. So I just wanted to, oh, Andrea is saying thank you with all my heart. And Christine is saying oh. happy birthday, Frankie. Love you, Anna Molina. Anna is actually, uh, she has a Helping Parents Heal affiliate group in uh, Spanish now. So she's reaching out to the Spanish speaking community, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, lots of happy heavenly birthday to Frankie here. Uh, such loving energy, Sam is saying. Um, and then extra love to Anna and Frankie. Uh, he al she also has another son, Jose Luis, who is in spirit. Um, I know both of them are celebrating today. Um, so uh, uh, Suzanne is saying, Stacy has started her gift of spirit mentoring again. Love it. Um, Anna is saying, thank you, Candy. Yes. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to throw those in because everyone's very impressed with what you're saying. And I know that this guided meditation will be wonderful. So, um, I think everyone's been able to come on as well, which is good. We've got, um, a lot of people in the meeting, which is wonderful. Um, and uh, if you want to get started now, that would be wonderful. And maybe if they have questions after, if parents have questions, I can ask you a little later. Okay, sounds good. I wanted to let everybody know that there is a free heart opening meditation on my website from the album. So you can download that. Uh, it's a free gift on the homepage. So you can go there. So you're going to hear the divine angel meditation. I just want to share when you meditate, you want to make sure your back is supported. And you want to make sure that everything is uncrossed and you can hold your palms up like this, or you can connect, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Um, it's a place of openness, a place of stillness and uh, a place of, you know, feeling your breath and relaxing. So um, it's a place of receiving as well. So I'm going to start the meditation. I'm going to be meditating with you, as I mentioned, to open up the space. This is a 12 minute, 12 second meditation. So it's one of the longest ones on the album, uh, but uh, I feel that you very much enjoy it tonight. And it's, uh, it's always beautiful to connect with our angels. So, okay, I'm gonna start it. Are we ready? We're going to begin by sitting upright, comfortably on a chair, 
with your feet on the floor, uncrossed. Feel your feet on the ground, connected to Mother Earth. Begin by closing your eyes and becoming aware of the breath and body. The focus is on feeling the breath on the inhale and exhale, while mindfully counting to four on both the inhale and exhale. Breathe into the stomach slowly and let the air move up to the lower lungs and into the chest area. This is the full connected breath. Each breath in will bring more and more relaxation and each exhalation will let go of all stress and tension from the outside world bringing you to the presence within. As the breath slows down to a rhythmic breath, quiet and clear the mind and move your attention to your heart space. Drop to the heart, experience the stillness, the calm, the present moment, and relax the body slowly, starting from the top of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet. And if attention drifts from breath to thought, just let the thought come and go without judgment and return focus to the breath. We're going to journey to a sacred space. Visualize sitting on a quiet ocean beach, on grass under a strong oak tree, on a golden bench next to a beautiful garden, in a forest amongst the tallest of pine trees, or sitting on top of a mountain on golden clay. Return now to one of these sacred places and feel complete peace within. While you are seated in your inner sacred space with your attention in your heart space, invite a loved one in heaven come close to you at this time. This loved one could be a child, a family member, a friend, or a guide. You may see images of them, begin to feel their love, or you may hear whispers from them. closer to you. Feel their love and guidance and know they are still very much with you, loving you, guiding you, and walking beside you here. As you look in front of you, you will see a white mist, and standing in the white mist is an angel of light. This is your guardian angel. Walk through the white mist with your loved one to greet the angel of light. Feel the lightness and feel the love as you meet your guardian angel. 
See and feel the peaceful divine white light of God surround your being and extend out for eternity. Ask your guardian angel their name. Follow the angel of light to the center of this expansive white light. In front of you, you will see a white bench. Sit on this bench and imagine a halo above your head coming down from the heavens. As you breathe in, see the white light shine down from the halo's rim, encircling your entire being. Next, envision in the center of this halo, a beam of golden light streaming down from above through the top of your head, filling your entire body and being. See this beautiful golden light enter the top of your head and flow through your entire body, your face, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, upper back, lower back, and chest. Continue to see this golden light flow through the rest of your body, filling your stomach, abdomen, legs, and feet. This golden light ignites your truth within to light your divine path forward. Feel your I am as you are filled with this beautiful golden light and supported by the divine white light of God, your creator. As you breathe in, see in front of you the hands of God gently coming down from the heavens. Imagine these hands of God gently, lovingly picking you up. You are now seated in the palms of God's hands. Feel the words within. I am here for you. You are a beloved child of God, second to none. Lift up your heart and be one as I live in you. Rise now and shine bright for your light has come. The divine spirit of God is upon you and within you. And so it is. Now we are going to bring your attention back to your breath, feeling your breath on the inhale and exhale. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Another deep breath in, exhale. And begin to feel your body. Feel your fingers and begin to move them. Feel your feet and the ground beneath you, supporting you. Slowly open your eyes and bring the whole you back into your present moment.
Yeah. We add a, a little bit more instrumental at the end of the meditations uh, to, for you to journal. So when you experience spirit and you receive from spirit within meditation, when you start to come out of meditation, you can easily forget because you're experiencing it from within. And so we recommend, there's an introductory on the album, an introduction on how to have the journal with you and near you. So when you come out of meditation, there's some instrumental music for you to write into the flow of the music and retain what you experienced in meditation. It's very similar to your dream state. When you wake up, you remember right away a little bit and then you forget it's the same thing within meditation. So um, this meditation is one of the longer ones on the album. It starts the end of the album to experience deeper connection with the God, with God within. Um, I do say that, you know, spirit is with God, spirit's peace of God, you know, God raises the veil, uh, God's there. I, I always come from, I'll say God existence, God first energy when I give spiritual readings and live events uh, because I'm, God's with me. So uh, he has given the spiritual gift for a reason and it's to help and heal to help and heal hearts so i hope you enjoyed that yes can i tell you a few things that are written in the chat box um andrea said i saw all of my loved ones and felt god's <laughs> hand supporting me thank you um, yes. mary said wow this was so powerful carla said thank you stacy that was very uplifting and so powerful i received shivers sh shivers throughout my body i continue oh, to yeah learn on how to let go and just relax and experience the gifts mm -hmm. received. Marie said, that was so beautiful. Thank you. My daughter was so funny and looking at me like, mom, can you believe we're doing this right now? Yeah. Valentina said, oh. I sensed a touch to my finger first time mm -hmm. ever in capital letters. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy said, thank you, Stacy. That was wonderful. Patty said, it brought a tear, but I don't know why. Christine mm -hmm. said, made me cry, definitely. I asked my daughter to give me a sign and visit me in dreams. She said she would. I felt so filled, beautiful. Thank you so oh, much. Everywhere. And yeah. Candy said, thank you for this lovely guidance. This was the most loved I have felt during a meditation. My daughter held my hand as we walked to my guardian angel. She said, oh, it was Wendy. Yes. Um, Nancy is saying, thank you so much, Stacy. Lovely meditation. Anna said, total silence, so relaxing. And then I want to go back to uh, Darcy. Darcy saying, hi, I'm wondering about a very profound sign sound from my son who passed away last mm -hmm. year, many times at about 1.30 a.m. I can mm -hmm. hear huge inhales and exhales. This goes on for about 10 minutes each time. Just wondering what he's trying to tell me. Do you have any insight on that? Um, so it's very common for spirit to come to us um, near our bedside when we're sleeping because we're in a relaxed state, but also there is a meditative state between deep REM and wakefulness. And that's when spirit can connect with us. So it's very common if she's hearing this on a repetitive basis, she can ask, is that you? Um, and they're looking for a connection with her. They're looking to communicate for them to come that close to hear the breath like that. Um, it tells me he's working really hard to, and this is her son, is that right? Yes. Yes, I feel a son. Okay. He's working really hard to communicate with his mom. And so something with his breathing, now he could have had some breathing like before he passed, but something familiar with his breathing is letting her know that it's him. So what I would, what I would recommend in that situation when it happens again is to start talking from within. So speaking to him from within when he when he tries to connect like this, he's connecting because you're feeling it or you're hearing it or you're seeing it. 
So it's to go from your heart and start to speak from your heart. It's not speaking out loud. It's just, you know, mindfully going in and starting to communicate from the heart space. And then you can receive more and you're deepening the connection at that point. And that connection is starting to evolve more or you could possibly hear them in your inner senses and your inner hearing. That's beautiful. Um, there, are, there are a few other things. Um, uh, Maria is saying, thank you, Stacy. Love the journey and the love felt. Sam is saying, this is the most peace that I felt in months. I feel my son's president and presence. Um, but uh, Teresa is saying, I did not feel anything. Does it get easier as we go? Could you maybe address okay, so that? That's interesting. So she may be someone who's too sensitive to the voice. And so I would recommend her uh, listening to just instrumental music or possibly waves or something. I was very sensitive in the beginning. I could not listen to guided meditations. So I can feel her. I can feel her in that way. I could only listen to music, very soft music. So um, I have a lot of sensitivities. So I would say she probably is a, is a sensitive empath and I would recommend her just listening to the music and not the guided. That's wonderful, thank you. And Steve is saying he had a hard time understanding what you were saying and the audio froze a few times. It didn't on my end, it might've been just on your end, Steve, mm -hmm. but um, he will try that on the website as well. Um, and then Suzanne is saying, that's so interesting, Stacy. I seem to feel Chris very strongly with just instrumental as well. So mm -hmm. that's, that's an interesting thing as well. Mm -hmm. But that was truly a wonderful experience. We, um, let's see, Tina is saying, wow, my daughter's picture just moved in our kitchen and the teddy next to it fell onto the floor wow. as my husband walked into the kitchen. He just came downstairs to get some water. I wondered what all the noise was about. My hands and body were tingling throughout. Thank you for this yes. beautiful. Beautiful. So when you feel the tingling and the chills, that's your loved ones in spirit letting you know that they're doing something <laughs> to connect with you. Um, there's been times when I walked out in the hallway and there's a picture of my dad. I don't know where it came from. No idea. So they can they can do these things to get your attention to let you know, hey, hi, I'm trying to connect with you. I love you. So just you know, telling you them that you love them, thinking of them in a loving way. This is another way to connect with them by just you know thinking of them in a loving way. The connections can be so powerful. They can really open you up. Heather opened me up spiritually. She just opened me up. So our loved ones in spirit that we are so close with can open us up. Your work is to hold it in your heart's desire that you want to open. You want to communicate. You want to connect. And they will work within that intention for that to happen. And I teach a lot of this on the Get to Spirit Mentoring Program. I taught it three years ago and we're bringing it back now this month. And our first live call is November 17th. And if you go to the website, it's the online course tab. But I wanted to share, Elizabeth, if that's okay, um, that we're offering uh, a discount code for helping parents heal. So you can actually receive quite a savings on the program. It's a six month program. And I meet with you once a month and you receive development audios on spiritual development and growth, spiritual growth and meditations. Um, it's a practice, it very much is. It's a daily practice. It's just like building a muscle. Um, you have to uh, hold the intention and work at it. Um, so we're going to offer actually the 20% off of the entire program. And it's um, HPH20 is the code. It's all caps. Uh, and uh, I just, I love teaching. Um, when I first started out um, in this gift, all I wanted to do was to teach everything that I was experiencing to everyone I could possibly teach who was open to receiving it because it was so amazing what was happening. It's really in the experiences that the knowing happens. 
So experiencing them is that's when you actually absolutely know that it's happening. And it brings you more into your own light too, because meditation opens you up to your spirit within. And we all have our own light and spirit's light. So it's just bringing more light within us, I say. We're really opening up more. The more light that we can experience here on earth, the more that we evolve and thus comes all these other things on our path, our divine life purpose and the people we're here to help and serve. Well, and I'm glad that you mentioned that. I was planning on putting it on the YouTube video as well as on the video for Helping Parents Heal so that people are able to access that. I was actually looking back to see exactly what the code was, um, but I see that Maria posted it in the chat box as well. Um, I wanted to just let you know that Darcy, who was talking about the breathing that she heard beside her bed, she said, thank you. I often hear my son in my mind now. The noise comes from his bedroom right above mine. Mm -hmm. Candy says, I find a guiding voice helpful in keeping the thoughts out of my head, but it depends on the voice. Stacy, your voice is very sweet and soothing. Uh, Deanna is saying, so emotional. I always wanted to meet my guide, uh, guardian angel. Um, mm -hmm. And Suzanne said, I come out of your meditation so refreshed and connected. And Tina is saying, joining this group is the best thing that's happened to me. So many mm -hmm. wonderful experiences in just the last five weeks. Oh, Tina, thank you, Elizabeth, Irene, and everyone. And of course, Stacy, this is, and Maria for bringing you to us, as well as Alicia. Yeah, and, and Alicia. I feel very grateful myself. Do you have, we have four minutes left. Do you have any parting words of wisdom that you might want to impart to yes, us? Yes, actually I do. So um, there's just this, this verse that speaks to me with spirit and it's, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. So what you're seeking is seeking you and keep searching, keep seeking for them. And I'm getting chills everywhere. <laughs> they, they will, they, they work so hard. They have to learn how to come through when they get to the other side, they actually have to learn it. And when they do, they will do amazing things with you. Your half of the half of that is you seeking it with all your heart and they will find you and you will find them. I can promise you that in all these years of all the mothers and fathers that I've worked with, I know, I know that they found one another and it's the most beautiful spiritual journey of being with them in spirit because we're spirit first in the human body. So we're, we, we're, we're already spirit. So we do have this connection. Um, it's believing that we do and releasing the, I'll say, uh, it's not you, it's not you. So just be in a place of wonder, that's a beautiful vibration to be in, to allow them to do the work, to come through and to connect. And you're on the receiving side. So you just stay in a place of love and wonder and, uh, observation, the higher, I'll say, I'll say awareness every day, be aware of what's around you, because I'll tell you what, the signs are there, they're there. We may just not be um, paying attention to them, but they, they are there, that's what I'll share with you. And uh, I, I know the children, and I know they so badly want to let you know how much they're with you. So what I can share with you is just be in a place of love and peace and seek, seek, seek with all your heart. And then just allow them to do their beautiful work to connect with you. Thank you. And they do that so well, especially yeah. when we have people like you helping us to do so. I just, I have to read a few more. Candy saying, thank you, Elizabeth, Irene, and all of HPH. These evening Zoom meetings soothe my grief and really have been expanding my spiritual knowledge. I love taking time to find my daughter, 
especially with other shining light parents, which is so important, I agree. And what a wonderful presenter Stacy is. Maria is saying, thank you, Elizabeth, for your selfless dedication to our brokenhearted members all these years. I've known Maria for many years. I think we met at the very beginning of this journey. Stacy has helped me open up and welcome the happiness of knowing my loved one is happy. He doesn't suffer and he is with so many other wonderful angels, all of our kids, all of our incredible. Um, Nancy saying such a beautiful message. Thank you so much, Stacy. Carla is saying, is sending my love and hugs to everyone here tonight. So blessed to be so a part of this amazing group. Dixie Neff is saying, thank you. Babette is saying, thank you so much. This was wonderful. What a gift this group is. Anna is saying, this is a blessing. So I just want you to know that you've really um, made everyone on this group so happy to be able to get together and uh, experience this meditation that was allowing us to become closer to our kids. Uh, we always allow everyone to unmute themselves and say thank you and goodbye at the end of the meeting. So um, Irene, have you already done that? Yes, and thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Thank you, Stacey. Thank you. 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 Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you. Blessings of love and spirit, everybody. Thank you so much.